Welcome, folks, and let's discuss around Europe. And of course, you have Dina talking points on a club. Well, of course, they are still the most valuable club when it comes to the EPL, talk about Manchester United. But um, what we saw yesterday after that game against Arsenal, when there was you know, rain, there, there was a pour down, was not um, nothing to compare being valuable as one of the biggest clubs in Europe, even in the EPL, talking about Manchester United. So we're dissecting all the rocks that has happened in the last 10 years in terms of signing, in terms of um, managerial you know, um, t- turnover, so much on this episode of Around Europe. So I've been focusing on only Manchester United and I get that time. So I'm computer in the studio with me. You guys know my name is Pooja. So let's start from this. Let's start from the Ronaldo confession before mm-hmm. we now dissect what we now see now. <laughs> Ronaldo said, you know, he came back after almost seven, eight years and he met the same thing at Manchester United, he made the same jacuzzi, he made the same um, mm-hmm. training facility. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it, you know, you can say personnel, you know, employees, this one is normal. But the same, you know, dressing room, you know, design, there's nothing that okay. changed that change to the new level or new ways or new technology in every club. Because he moved from he moved from Real Madrid mm-hmm. to Juventus, down to Man United, and he complained, and everybody, including the ex players, you know, the players, the managers, you know, journalists, press condemned what um, Ronaldo said. But yesterday, it seems Ronaldo is actually right. Everywhere at set of dreams, where, you know, they were leaking. Um, for me, I think um, Ronaldo, Ronaldo did the right thing by speaking out. It's not easy for you coming from a traditional club like Manchester United, then going to a traditional club like Real Madrid. And also going to a traditional club like Juventus. Now, this guy has toured through two different cities before coming back to England. So when he was speaking, I don't think there's anybody that will say he does not know what he was saying. Everyone was saying, I saw people yesterday saying from tweet and and, and quote saying now, it is the way he converged the message that was wrong. And I'm asking, how do you converge the truth? Is there any way to talk about the truth? The truth is the truth. You can't keep the facilities of last year and you expect the players also to improve. There is a gym house at um, Real Madrid where he's coming from, Juventus. He sees how things are being done. Everybody is on the upgrade. And Manchester United is still stagnant. And people are still asking, why is the club like this? So I think all what Ronaldo has done, has said, it has finally came to everybody's face that, yes, this is true. A lot of people bash him, a lot of legends. I wish those legends go come out right now, the Gary Neville's and like, and come out and say, yes, they are very wrong and apologize to him at this point in time. And I know he also has been vindicated by what we saw yesterday. And of course, you know, talking about um, the, in, the injuries you know, suffered by mine at the Columbia because of the decay in the facilities. You know, Tenak was saying after the game, so how do you perform when you have seven of your key players or your starting 11 out injured? But if your facilities are still the same thing, you don't have the high level jacuzzi, high level recovery, mm-hmm. swimming pools. How do you, how would you, you know, um, suffer injury or not recover well, you know, after injuries? That, that is the thing. If you don't have the facility to do things, there is no other thing that's going to come alive. Football is more than mere playing on the pitch. You have to train harder, gain your fitness, work on the pitch. How do you gain back your fitness? It's by you eating the gym. When you go for an injury, some players, three, four, five, six months, you are not on the pitch, you are not running, you are sitting, you are getting obese, eating different kind of foods. And this is the thing, you have to get back to fitness. You eat the gym. If you don't eat the gym and there are no facilities for you to work and everything, that's not how you're going to play well, you're going to perform, you're not going to perform. So all these facilities even boils down to United not performing. How are we sure these players are actually training properly? Yeah. There are a lot of things to take in cognizance with United States as, a, as, as it is like this. So, most times you blame the coach and you need to blame the board and everything. You need to put these facilities in place for these players to work. Unless they'll just come play what they like and move on. When you see people are unserious, you also join the bad ones on unseriousness. But when you come to a club and you see a very serious club that people are not actually playing here, they are working and ready to die for the badge, you also will be able to do the same. Hmm. And um, you know, moving from that as well, um, 
are the ex players are they are they a blessing to my united or are they a cost to my united because uh, yeah. you know because let me just let me just break it down you know they they so much supported the uh, Oregon social who was struggling nobody called for his head you know um a manager that won the Europa League you know took them to Champions League you know talking about Jose Mori was you know crucified you know on the platter and again you know um Tenag you know everybody's on his on his neck are these ex players, you know, legends of the club, are they cost or a blessing to Manchester United? At this point in time, which I won't lie to you, they are a cost to Manchester United. The 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 this kind of support mediocrity yeah. at the highest level. Now, when Ronaldo came out and speak about these things, as a legend of the club, you have an access to all the facilities and everything. You have to check and back this man that this is what this guy is saying. It is true yeah. due to their poor performance of the team. You know how you have played for that club before, you've played for the badge before, played for the team before. You know what it takes to be a United player as an indigenous club in the UK. So you have to, I don't know how they support mediocrity at the highest level. They are such a cost to explain that. They, I think they cause the sack of Jose Mourinho. Mario took um, United to the European League final with how many players on crutches? Maybe like six to five players on crutches. He won the European Cup final. Gave them, champ- I think he took them to the Champions League for how many years? And they called for his head. Till now, I don't think they've gotten any tangible cup in Europe. And they still, they have not called for Ten Hag head, not called for Ole Gunnar Soja head when he was there. Mm. And I think at that at this point, they support mediocrity and they are a cost to the team. Mm. Um, and lastly, let's just do a run over. I just want to give me names of players that you think um, should leave. You know, let's say the one that you jettison and the one that you retain. Let's start from the one that you jettison. You don't want to see them in the club. So you guys can do as well in the comment section. Just, you know, I like the players you don't want at, mm-hmm. at my United next season. And the players you want them to retain, you know, Devoid of you know who is the manager if they are going to sack Tenag or they are going to retain Tenag. So I am completely putting on the spot. Just a rundown: Who should leave from Man United next season? And from the keeper, Onana, still okay. You can leave Onana. We know the cost of Onana goes coming from Inter. He's yeah. a fantastic goalkeeper. Oh. He was in the final of the Champions League. Onana, yes. Let's look at the um, the wing back, Dalo. Dalo is still a fantastic player. You can still keep Dalo. The five fancies, I think they are using Casimir and Evans for now. Those two don't have any business in that club. I think they should move away. They should oh. sell them up, discharge them. Mm. One Bissaka, I think one Bissaka is still a keep for his second choice if you have a good yeah. right back. Now, moving to the midfield, Bruno Fernandez has been fantastically good. I don't think he needs to go now. McTominay, McTominay also is getting in and out of form. You can still keep him. Amrabat, can they return him back to Florentina? He doesn't have any business doing in that club. Who again is in the midfield? Um, Ericsson. Ericsson. Ericsson is also old. I don't think he's good for the club again. Just find a young midfielder for the club. Going forward, Rashford in and out of form. I think he's still good for the club, but I don't know if he can get his form back. He's still good for the bench. Probably if he gets a very nice winger. Granocho is good. Copy minor is for the keep. Mount is for the keep also. Who is the Anthony? I don't know. Anthony is in, in and out of form also. But Anthony is still good for a keep because an hundred million pound player you can't yeah. send him away anyhow. And um who is there also? And um, Malicia, where is Malicia? I've not even seen him play. If he's that is an injury player probably should go on the loan and come back then. Get some fresh legs. Mm. We need to go to the market. Not buy top, top players, but fantastically young players and groom them. United is still a working team. A lot of young players are in United yeah. that can still perform. The likes of Kobe Mino, Grand Nocho. It's not to pick up the team. So, I see United next season. Buy young, young players and let's stay and do this job. Cool. And um, that's, um, you know, what's up? Uh, um, computer feel about um, the, the the complex of the uh, of the team, you know, of the squad. Players that should be in, players that should be out, and of course, you know, maybe the manager have to stay or leave. And that's uh, around um, Europe, um, and we are 
be focusing on Manchester United. So much happened yesterday. We saw, you know, they say it's not theater of dreams anymore. It's theater of wet dreams. <laughs> so it's so much um, to dissect from that yesterday. Of course, computers put his teeth into the conversation and drop your own comment as well on your own, you know, talking point, your own, you know, what you feel about what we've discussed on the show. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Puja Dissect, and watch all our episodes. Of course, they're running episode so you can just watch and enlighten yourself of course we know you know people have been asking me questions about know your game just drop a comment if you want to be part of that um, segment so you come your way bye for now